The concept of a healthy new town is really very simple. It's about joined up thinking. It's promoting and supporting a culture of healthy living within a new community through thinking about the health and well-being of the people who will live there during the design of the new place. It's also about challenging how, where and when people access health services and encouraging individuals to take control of their own well-being by adopting a lifestyle which makes them happy, healthy and connected with their community, making them less likely to suffer from medical conditions in their lives. Ebbsfleet Garden City is one of 10 national pilot locations taking part in this innovative programme, spearheaded and funded by NHS England, who want to use the lessons from these places to inform their future policies and spending, with a greater emphasis on encouraging prevention rather than focusing on cures. Ebbsfleet Garden City proved to be a perfect pilot location, with 15,000 new homes being built and the creation of up to 30,000 jobs, it's the largest development in the UK right now. And with the help of a healthy new town status, health and well-being are prime considerations in the planning and construction of this new community. The impact of the Healthy New Town programme in Ebbsfleet is not isolated in the new development. It has also been used as a tool to help address health issues in existing surrounding neighbourhoods and to break down the social barriers between new and existing communities. There hasn't been a garden city for 100 years, there hasn't been a new town in the UK for 50 years. We don't necessarily know how to go about doing it again. So in Epsley Garden City we've been testing some tools that help people to get active and involved in their place. Um, in this instance we've been using food and healthy eating, we've been using sports and physical activity and arts and culture because people have told us that's the kind of things they like to get involved in. All these things are tied into what the healthy living um, activities within Epsley is all about. We're working alongside Network Rail, um, Eurostar and ourselves to build a, and embed a healthy workplace within, within our station teams. We, as a health um, service, we need to encourage people to move um, towards doing things that prevent them getting ill. Um, for the sustainability of our health service, it's important for us as individuals, but also it's important for us as a, as a healthy society. Sunday Active is a fitness group who meet every Sunday morning. You can come and be as fit as you want to be. So the walk is generally a stroll. The run is pitched at whatever level, depending on whoever comes. The hit, or we're going to call it street gym, I think, we're starting to use some of the street furniture that's already here in Ebbsfleet. Um, yeah, that, that can be quite a tough workout if you want it to be. I've been involved in fitness for 20, 25 years. I've also got a history of mental health, so I've used fitness as a way of combating my own uh, mood. I think you know the group is continuing to grow as the community is continuing to grow mm. as well. We get to walk around different places and see the yeah. roads as they're appearing and new houses as they're going up. I always try to encourage other people to attend because I always think if somebody's willing to make an effort on a new development to bring people together, then actually just showing a little bit of willing and a bit of part participation is, is, is quite good. The Healthy New Town team invited people to take part in an innovative digital monitoring initiative. The Fitbit and Better Points projects tracked users' activity for over a year. Following their movements helped Ebbsfleet planners find out which parts of Ebbsfleet could be best developed into park spaces, cycle paths and walkways, and also which group activities would be most popular in the community. Sometimes when you're exercising, you sort of don't know your progress, but having the Fitbit is really good because you can monitor what you're doing, your heart rate, and really also it can help you to push yourself. Better Points is an app which turns activity into rewards, either high street vouchers or charity donations. Getting healthy is not about just me, it's that I can use the points to also make a difference in the community by helping different charities. The aim of these projects is not just about health and fitness, but about creating opportunities for people to make friends, learn more about the area, develop new skills and bring people together through joint interests. Edible Ebbsfleet is a great example of that. Promoting community gardens where residents can learn to grow their own fruit and vegetables and make them available to the rest of the community. It promotes healthy eating whilst encouraging volunteers to get outside and grow. What a wonderful idea. The project's aimed at everyone. To come along and just get involved really. Because making friends and having a lovely environment uh, within that is such an important thing. As part of our Edible Web Sleep project, we grow food in the community that people can help themselves to. So we built and designed our own planters where everything is fully edible, including the trees. 
it's trying to encourage them, you know, that you can grow healthy food, you don't need big spaces, so we do it in sort of micro gardens. I got involved at No Walls because I was long-term unemployed, I was a single mum and I was really bored and depressed at home. They've trained me in all the industry approved qualifications now so I am at the top of my game. So we are liaising with uh, especially Epsilon Development Corporation to get in contact with the developers, the ones that are building all the new towns. What courses have you got available, what can you actually learn on to our people? In addition to fitness and healthy eating, local artists have been commissioned to create workshops that explore local history and culture with a theme of health and well-being. The aim of the project is to gather stories, recipes and memories and how eating and cooking brings people together. It gives you know, the kids a little bit more of a sort of opportunity to be a bit freer. It's finding connections between people's interests and also connections between their skills and knowledge of making, especially in an area where there's a new development and existing towns together. Moving to a new town location often means new residents are leaving family, friends and social connections, which can then make them feel lonely and socially isolated. The Emerging Arts and Creativity programme helps to connect people and communities together. It does bring people together. There's some things I couldn't do, whereas someone could, so then you'd sort of build up friendships and things. I started the week by uh, talking to the class about uh, local history and then we went on to talk about what they like about their area and how they feel about their area and that kind of moved on to today, started to work with chalk and drawing the chalk cliffs. There's a thing that I know researchers have written about called flow where you get into, you get completely concentrated in an activity and in the process that you're doing and it enables you to forget everything else going on around you and that can be a really healthy thing to get involved with, I think for anyone but I, of course we know specifically for mental health. I find it hard to get out and about and meet people so when I get to socialise with new people it makes me feel included, like I've got something to do and what I do matters. Joe Dyer is a Kent artist who was commissioned to create a piece of public art to recognise World Mental Health Day and encourage conversations about mental wellbeing. So today we've brought um, a giant glowing sculpture of a sunshine that's been made out of lots of recycled plastics um, and displaying it here at Ebb Street train station for all the commuters coming in and it's trying to look at how we can make things more beautiful or make people feel happy and sunny by looking at a piece of artwork. Throughout the project, public consultation on the design of the local area has been a main focus. Earlier this year we, we ran an international design competition with the Landscape Institute asking for ideas about how we could use this really unique topography we've got of the former quarries and chalk um, pits and cliffs um, to make it into a fun place and, and, and actually make people healthy just by living here and getting involved. So there's an amazing image which we can share with you that's about 10 metres wide of this, what this could be like and they've recognised you need restaurants and bars and you need, need some housing. Not over the whole place, but enough to generate enough income to make it manage itself. All healthy new town activities, as well as resident feedback, have been monitored and assessed by academics from Canterbury Christchurch University. The aim is to find out what works and what doesn't work in these community building and health and wellbeing initiatives. What works in terms of getting people involved? Why do residents choose to take part in projects? What stops them taking part? And what it is about those projects that they really value. Um, it's also lessons learned, so you understand by doing something, you know, what is helpful for people, um, but also what could be better, what could be improved. Lessons learned will shape future delivery in Ebbsfleet Garden City and be shared with other emerging new communities to help them shape and support their communities to live healthier and happier lives. The youngest boy, he's uh, now started to do uh, rugby. The, the elder boy likes to come cross-country running with me and, um, uh, and we do many outdoor activities together. So today we're here at Manor Community Primary School in Swanscombe for the gathering. It's the culmination of the Healthy Newtown project. Today's a celebration of community, all things uh, joyous, artistic and health-based. So it's a bringing together of the local community to share joy, health, happiness and art. 
also about um, creating an identity for this place, the New Garden City, that actually things happen here, really exciting and fun things happen here for people that already live here and for people that might want to move here as well. There has been badge making, there's printing, there's been performances by some of the local kids and community groups. There's been a laughter queen, just make sure everyone's having, just sharing laughter. That's, I mean, that's a beautiful thing. We're doing a giant collage. It's like a vision board, so you put affirmations and positive things on it. And you've got babies in pushchairs that have stuck things on ours to 10-year-old boys that say, oh, I'll do it. All right, then I'll find a bike and put it on it. And it's like overwhelming. All cultures, it's fantastic. I think it's amazing. I think it's really positive, especially for people that are new in the area, that have come from different parts of London, um, um, Essex or surrounding um, counties. And it's really good for mums to get to know each other and to get involved in the community. And I think it's really good for the children, so. This is an amazing event. I think it's the first time that the communities are properly connected. Yeah, and through something fun and simple, isn't it? And it shows them that you can do all sorts of things with not a lot of stuff. Getting up on stage and doing a bit of performance, challenging yourself and, and sharing that with everyone around you is incredibly important. Art is, to me, inherently like therapeutic. You're meeting people, you're connecting with people, you're connecting with nature. And we're asking people all the time, including through this film, what do you want? What do you feel? How have we been doing this right? What would you like to see as well as that in the future? My oldest boy had Santa bring to him a uh, running kit. So I think, the, yes, it's there. Part of our job as the development corporation uh, is to facilitate the building of the place in a way that's going to support future activity. It's almost like developing a lifestyle, I guess, that people will find attractive and appealing. This project was started off with an idea and grabbed together people and then say, what do you think? Do you think this could work? And it has worked. If you'd like to find out more about how you can get involved with any of these activities, or you have ideas to create your own, get in touch. We'd love to hear from you.